Hi, Robert Parks here. Today we're going to compare Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in my 2017 Camaro SS1 LE. First, Apple CarPlay. If you're not aware, you first have to connect your Apple or Android phone to your car via a USB cable. Neither Android Auto nor uh, Apple CarPlay will run over Bluetooth exclusively. Once connected, you'll see the Apple CarPlay uh, logo appear on my screen here. I, I wish uh, I had a closer view of the screen. Uh, we may digitally zoom in a little bit. We're going to click into Apple CarPlay. Now, one of the uh, unique features of Apple CarPlay is that it gives you a, a icon layout fairly similar to a phone. Certainly in my case, the number one uh, use for a cell phone besides making phone calls is navigation. And this is really uh, where the rubber meets the road here. So I'm going to go into destinations and I am going to choose the office. And I'm going to hit go. Starting route to in the address for work and uh, you can see the map I'm getting so far now that may be in part because of my cellular reception uh, but uh, that's uh, and I just drove through a bunch of debris from a car incident AT&T uh, has an island of barely any service uh, where I live uh, here in New Haven, and that's kind of too bad. Thankfully, Wi-Fi calling uh, allows me to make and receive phone calls at home. Turn right onto Webster Street. Now, this is giving me just uh, one uh, set of uh, directions when there are other options that are equally fast. And since I happen to know about a road closure, the route that I'm going is actually much faster turn than, left onto than uh, and turn right onto the uh, Street. most recent suggestion there. knows about traffic you see some color coding uh, up in the upper uh, right corner of the screen uh, however their routing and alternate routes are very poor compared to Google as anybody who's used both applications can attest to this is the uh, route that uh, Google would give me to where we're uh, uh, going and uh, Apple feet, didn't even list right it as an option and then the option they are showing uh, is taking me away from the interstate, but with no explanation as to uh, why. Where uh, at this point here, uh, Google would be uh, sending me over to I-95. Turn right onto Whitney Avenue. Turn right onto Whitney Avenue. CarPlay is beautiful, um, no doubt about that. Looks fantastic. Um, music, navigation, phone, messaging. Uh, if you're going to make and receive iMessages with your friends, all that's uh, uh, built in here. But uh, navigation is what we care about. And this navigation uh, uh, 
is, in my book, a failure. direct route still. I'm going to actually, uh, right now I'm looking at a 36 minute ETA to my destination. I'm actually going to, uh, see four minutes via Derby Avenue. Oh, hey, that's, uh, the first time I've ever seen Apple Maps give me a, a, quarter mile, a routing change based on, on traffic. Temple Street. They're still wanting to take me away from the interstate. I'm going to, uh, jump over to the interstate here and, uh, see if my ETA goes up or down. The interstate route is four miles longer, but uh, usually it's exactly the same amount of time. Left to merge on. I think Apple Maps has finally figured out what I plan to do here. Keep right toward I-95 in New London. Connector, then keep right onto C234 West toward downtown New Haven. And this is what holiday traffic looks like. see that uh, we're basically in stop and go traffic here on Labor Day weekend uh, on I-95 and to Apple Maps credit they were trying to steer me away from uh, using I-95 at all pretty dramatically. Uh, you can see they show it as a red line here. Unfortunately uh, the difference between Apple Maps and Google uh, Maps on Android is that uh, Google would have been telling me the the time for three or four uh, alternate destinations and uh, let me make an educated decision rather than just uh, steering Take me away from it. Towards CT15 and Merritt Parkway. This traffic is so bad that I think I am at a jump off uh, way sooner than I anticipated and uh, try to get going in another direction. Okay, I've pulled into Ikea here, and I switched from the iPhone that we were using over to the Android phone. And now uh, the icon on my dash shows Android Auto instead. Now, unlike Apple CarPlay, Android Auto uh, does not have the icon similar to the phone. Instead, you have this menu of choices along the bottom, navigation, phone, etc. When I'm away from home, it uh, assumes that I want to go home, and I can click into that if I want to rattle off an address, I can go and see the map, do voice search, etc. Um, I am, oops, I am going to uh, choose home here and now I'll have to blank out the address. Head southwest, then turn right. And we're going to use Google to get back home. toward Brewery Street, then turn right onto Brewery Street. Turn right onto Brewery Street, then turn left to stay on Brewery Street. You can see we have the familiar Google Maps navigation. Continue on all 
Olive Street for a half mile. feels like one of those weekends that literally everybody who might come to New Haven is in New Haven. Students, parents, everybody. Continue on Grove Street for a half mile. Okay, now Google is showing me similar ETA routes. I've got the choice of uh, turning in a block, it's one minute slower, turning in a couple of blocks, uh, similar ETA, and then the recommended route, which is down several blocks. This is the kind of thing that Apple typically doesn't give me, and which I find very useful. Turn right onto Ashmont Street. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Webster Street. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. my video out in the daylight rather than in the parking garage. Okay, so what we saw today was both Apple Maps on Apple CarPlay and Google Maps on Android Auto doing everything possible to try to convince me to steer clear of I-95 in this holiday traffic that we saw. I will say that there have been a number of times recently where Google Maps was far and away ahead of Apple Maps in uh, providing navigation information for similar traffic situations. Today's test uh, uh, makes them appear uh, much more in parity than I had given Apple credit for. However, uh, we did see that uh, uh, at least in one situation, uh, Google Maps was showing me the time for about three different turning options that I had instead of just one. Uh, on average, I'm used to getting more information from Google Maps than from Apple Maps. And for that reason, I've actually ordered an Android replacement for the iPhone that carries my primary phone number, all because of uh, the difference in uh, Apple Maps versus Google Maps now that I have uh, the car integration in this 2017 Camaro. If you have a preference for Apple Maps and Apple CarPlay versus Google Maps and Android Auto, please leave your comments below. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.